good Santa Maria Paranaque. question. So your Beauty with a Purpose narrative is taken from a place of privilege to a place of charity. How do you intend to influence more people to give more to those who have less, especially to 4 million out-of-school youth displaced by the pandemic? Well, I'm somebody who was privileged enough to garner an education because I didn't have to worry about the circumstances around me. There are four million out of school youth because they can't control their circumstances. And those circumstances, they don't have the resources, they don't have the ways to provide for online learning. And once you have an education, it sets you free. You are able to be free to pursue your personal goals. And with that, with that freedom, you are able to help others. Because I have an education, I want to be inspired, I want to be educated, and I want to help others be educated as well. And I call on everybody to be able to use that, use that love, use that power that you have, use that knowledge you have, to be able to uplift others so that as a society, we will all be able to grow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Paranyake. and I'm really excited for this journey to finally come to an end, to finally meet the new queens, and just to be able to share a piece of my mind with the world. All right, so we have your final judge. Would you like to take the envelope <laughs> for sure. formality? And we have Mr. Harold Geronimo as your judge. Good evening, Ingrid. Good evening. We saved the best for last. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very timely question. How do you think can we unite as a people under one flag after a very divisive elections? To be able to unite as a people we need to remember that we are working toward one common goal. And that common goal is to make our nation a better place, is to develop our nation, is to support our communities, and is to grow our culture and our heritage. No matter what our political beliefs are, no matter what our religion is, we should all remember to start with respect. We should respect each individual, whether or not we agree with their sentiments, and then we can be able to learn how to be united, how to work towards a common goal, and how to create a better world. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Our reina Hispano-Americana Filipinas 2022 is candidate number Candidate number 17, Ingrid Santa Maria. Reina Hispano-Americana Filipinas 2022 
are Reina Hispano Americana Filipinas 2021 Emmanuel Vera, Reina Hispano Americana 2017 Winwin Marquez, and Mr. Harold Geronimo.